Hi everyone, we are here in Studio 360 at F5 App World 2024 in San Jose, California. This is F5's premier application security and delivery conference. Now, I'm joined by Danny and Eric. Danny is from Red Hat. We got Eric, who's one of my colleagues as well. Maybe uh, starting with Danny, can you give us a quick introduction? Yeah, yeah. So I'm Danny Ganzon with Red Hat and uh, I manage our uh, global alliance relationship with F5. Been doing so almost the last six years now and uh, been really excited lately about the kind of recent announcement from this morning and, and Mike Rao's keynote about really extending our technology portfolio into working more closely with uh, what F5 is doing with distributed cloud. And one of the big messages that we at Red Hat have always been um, extending to our customers this, this idea of uh, multi-hybrid cloud uh, and how uh, our customers' applications should be able to function and perform and be secure anywhere that they want them to live. And so by collaborating with F5 and, and leveraging the technology within a distributed cloud, we feel like we're getting closer and closer to that, uh, that realization of, uh, of our customers being able to have that mobility, portability, but maintain security and resiliency. So very exciting and um, looking forward to having Eric walk us through what that actually looks like. Okay, fantastic. So we've got Eric as well. Eric, uh, what's your role at F5? So I'm Eric G. I'm a senior solution architect at F5. So my focus is on the technical development of the joint solutions by collaborating with us awesome partners such as Red Hat. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so we've been working together on this uh, uh, announcement mm -hmm. here. Anything else that you wanna tell us about the announcement uh, that was uh, discussed today? So uh, beyond what was announced today, I think a lot of what um, we're wanting to do is um, education and enablement, right, is being able to take what we announced today and make it real for customers, uh, allow them to uh, internalize it in a way that applies to their specific use cases, challenges, uh, and, and how it really applies to their day-to-day. -day. So that'll be our next step is, is really making it personal for the customer and allowing them to you know, deploy it in the way that benefits them most. Awesome, okay, well, in doing that education, Eric's taken that upon himself to come up with some scenarios to walk us through like how we're gonna be able to use this uh, uh, announcement that we have. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think, first of all, it's really an exciting moment for us, right, mm -hmm. on this journey. So in the next uh, 10 or so minutes, I will take you through a little bit deep dive into the solution we just announced. Okay. So I will walk you through three scenarios to showcase how FR Distributed Cloud can simplify and secure the applications across multiple OpenShift environments. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's dive in. So let's start with the first scenario, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's about F5 distributed cloud to uh, provide the application connectivity across multiple environments. Mm -hmm. So imagine we have a retail company, Acme Retail. Mm -hmm. So they started hosting their application on-prem OpenShift so then they started to look at, uh, to expand the portfolio to cloud. Mm -hmm. Spec specifically, the OpenShift uh, running in AWS called Rosa mm -hmm. to leverage the cloud agility and also scalability, right? So then suddenly they realized that there's a daunting challenge in terms of how they can connect the application on-prem and also the Rosa, mm -hmm. right? A lot of things, complexities involved in terms of provisioning the routing. You have multiple routing tables for VPC and also VP, the on-prem, right? So you have to deal with the VPN, you have to deal with the um, firewall, you have to uh, ensure that the security policies can be translated to multiple environments. Mm. So this here, we have the F5 distributed cloud App Connect come into the picture mm -hmm. to provide a unified experience in terms of connecting and also securing the application across multiple environments. Let's see a demo, right? See what the how the magic happens here. So basically, we leverage the F5 Distributed Cloud uh, Customer Edge or CE for short. So basically, it's a suite of uh, software, right? Firewall. 
uh, routers. So we deploy that in on-prem and also the ROSA. So from there, we have centralized the control plane to manage the CEs across multiple environments. Also, we have the network automatically connected between the on-prem and the ROSA, mm. right? So in this way, we have a unified operational model across multiple environments. Nice. So the connectivity is not about layer three, right? So we expand that to layer seven, mm. application to application um, connectivity. As you can see that we are leveraging that app connect mm. to have service connected at layer seven, right? So in this way, we can expose the service running on ROSA, the recommendation service, back to the front end service running in on-prem. We used to have, have to do a lot of plumbing work, right, to mm. make it happen. Now we don't need any routing. We don't need VPN. We don't need uh, different security tools, right? We have a unified uh, provisional operational model. So with all the application connected, now we have a centralized control plane, have the unified visibility to each application. So we have the end-to-end -end visibility for any application running any cloud environment. It's like uh, you have the, the magic tool to have the visibility into the application latency, um, requests, it's easily for our IT teams to troubleshoot, right? If, if you have any issue in your application. Mm. So moving on to the second scenario is about provide the consistent security policy across multiple environments. Again, back to our scenario, right? The Acme Retail, so they have uh, application running in uh, on-prem. So then they expand the application to have a recommendation service running on Rosa. So now they acquired uh, as company, right? Mm -hmm. Running the as in EKS. Mm. So they have, now they end up with diverse environments to run, in the, to run the application in multiple environments. So the challenge here is, so if you expose the, the services in multiple environments, you basically increase the attack surface, right? Mm. So you need to deal with such different cloud specific tools, like, such as like uh, AWS ALB, a cloud WAF, a cloud watch to manage the security across different diverse environments. Again, right, entering the FI distributed cloud app connect, so we can securely connect application across multiple environments. So the integration is very straightforward, just like a flipping switch, right? Yeah. So we can simply um, point the origin pool to a service running in uh, EKS, then advertise that service to the on-prem. So everything is connected and protected. Mm. And that gives a bit more consistency, right? And was what you want in security, right? Is, yes. And reliability versus having to build something for each environment. Exactly, it's consistency is the key terminology here, yeah. Cool. So now, as you can see that, you, you have this consistency in terms of security across multiple environments, right? So then we can have a centralized dashboard for application security as well. Mm. So basically we can have a unified um, control in terms of uh, API endpoints, right? Also the board defense, API uh, security, everything is in one dashboard. Mm. So our final and third use case is about application mobility across multiple environments. So as, you, as I mentioned that now you have the application running in three environments, mm -hmm. right? EKS, ROSA, and on-prem. So how we can ensure that the portability and mobility across those three environments? As you can see that here, it's very difficult to move the applications around mm -hmm. between multiple environments, right? Because you have to deal with like blue-green testing, canary testing, right? You have also have to handle the IP overlapping. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to do the application uh, security translation from one environment to another, right? But again, with the FI distributed cloud, right? So we have the consistency across three environments, right? First of all, we can have the app connect to discover the services and make it available to different environments, right? 
using our app connect. And secondly, then we have, we can easily to just like a flipping a switch, right? We can adjust the weights of the origin pool. Mm. For example, we start with um, the application running in EKS. By adjusting the weights, we can immediately uh, move the application from EKS to Rosa. Mm. Wow. And that could be for a number of reasons, whether it's performance, cost maybe, uh, so anything that uh, the customer would require, yeah. distributed cloud gives them that. I think first of all, right, yes, if for cost reason, you may move to, from one environment to another, but also it will reduce your risk, right? Mm -hmm. Because in case it doesn't work, you can easily move it back, mm -hmm. right? Cool. So with that, I hope it gave you a technical sense of what we are up to, we work together. That yeah, was that was perfect. Thanks, Eric. Super exciting announcement. Really glad that you guys could take some time to walk us through that. Maybe for Danny, where can people go uh, in terms of being able to learn more about the partnership and something like this? For sure, yeah. So we have uh, a great landing page, uh, f5.com slash Red Hat, uh, or you could also visit the Red Hat ecosystem catalog uh, mm -hmm. that has uh, a number of uh, assets and things to consume for anything F5 related. Awesome, very cool. Yeah. All right, thank you, Danny. Thank you, Eric. Uh, it's been amazing. I know you guys work really hard on this partnership, so amazing to see the fruits of this partnership come out in big announcements like this. Very cool for us. Thank you, everybody, for watching this. You can find more videos from F5 App World when you follow us on LinkedIn, on X, YouTube, and on F5.com. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.